All right, guys, welcome to your 19th tutorial in JavaScript. And in this lesson, I'm going to be talking to you guys about something called loops. Now, a loop is extremely useful in JavaScript and pretty much every computer programming language because it basically saves time. Anytime you need to do something repetitive, a loop comes in handy. For example, if you wanted to write like um, document dot write um, let's write something super I love Rebecca Black and if you wanted to write this like 10 times on the screen then yes you could go ahead and copy this and paste 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 but you know what that's gonna get jumbled look how messy it is already and you know it's just not a very efficient way of doing things so wouldn't it be cool if there is a way where we could take a line of code and write it once and just tell JavaScript do that 10 times or do that 20 times or do it a hundred times well it's gonna save you a whole lot of typing so let me show you guys one way to do that one way to do that is called the for loop and it's F O R in the syntax the basic body to set up this loop is for and then you write two parentheses and in your curly braces or curly brackets what the heck is like the regular the professional educational name for these because I always, always say curly braces and I know they're not parentheses because these are parentheses so if someone knows let me know send me a message so anyways the syntax for this is you have four and inside here you're gonna tell it how many number of times to run and here you write what bit of code you want to run so document dot write and then just go ahead and write um you know I love Rebecca Black and let's go ahead and add a break to that actually that needs to be in here break and this would just whenever we print it out it will move on to the next line so you're saying alright simple enough but you don't go ahead and just write a number like 10 in there or else whenever you try to run it it's not gonna work that would just be way too easy for syntax or excuse me the for loop is set up in a very specific way it takes three different statements inside this little condition the first statement is you need to make a variable and you need to give it a starting point so you actually don't even need the name var like that you just need to go ahead and name it because it's going to be expecting a variable so go ahead and make a variable named x and set it equal to zero zero and one is basically always your starting point and now you need to give it an ending point so you don't just say something like x equals sixty you actually need to say x is less than ten and the reasoning behind this is x is going to start at zero and it's going to keep printing this out until x reaches above ten so every saying alright so is it automatically going to add one to it each time or add three to it each time or how do I know how much to increment x by each time well that is actually the last statement we're going to put the last statement is how much do you want that value to go up by so remember that x plus 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 was a special sign for add one to it each time so you can put something like x plus equals three and now if we go ahead and save this it's going to print it out four times and it printed this out four times because the first time it said x equals zero so is zero less than ten yes so print it out the next time is three six and nine so zero three six and nine is four times where it's less than ten the next time twelve it's greater than ten so that's why it doesn't run so that's what you can do but most people just always put x plus plus and this means start at zero go all the way until you get more than 10 so let's go ahead and save this and check it out it starts at 0 it goes 0 and I'm talking what the value of x is right now x equals 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and then the next one when x is equal to 10 it doesn't print out and the reasoning behind this is is 10 less than 10 no 10 is equal to 10 so that's why it doesn't print out so that is how you can get JavaScript to print out a certain line or a certain bit of code a certain number of times you can either do this and you know you can start at 
five and you can go to you know 450 if you want by ones check it out refresh oh yeah look that huge list there I love Rebecca Blacks so anyways just keep this in mind if you ever like get in trouble in school and as your punishment you have to type out I love Rebecca Black which would be a very good punishment 150 times this is a nice little trick to save you from actually having to type it out so um that's all I have for you guys for this tutorial I hope you guys enjoyed and uh yeah I guess I'll see you in the next tutorial